Hi there! Today I am doing a collective haul of stuff that I've picked up over the past six weeks. So if you want to see what I picked up recently and what I got for the Sephora Friends and Family sale, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to begin with nail stuff. Um, the first thing that I wanted to show is this nail polish from Revlon and it's called Royal. It's this beautiful royal blue. Um, the formula of these is not the greatest, but it is a beautiful color. Then next is what's on my nails right now, and this is called Facets of Fuchsia from Revlon. I know a lot of people have been going crazy about it. Um, it looks so much more gorgeous on the bottle than it does on the nails, I feel. But it is really pretty. I do like it. Um, from Wet n Wild, I picked up this for only $1.99, and it's called black alley deals and it's this beautiful glitter nail polish that it's a purple base with like pink shimmer is so beautiful um i picked up these sally uh, yeah sally hansen salon effects uh, nail polish strips these are the leopard ones so pretty and one of them if you have nail beds does two nails then i picked up from the muppet collection this is the orly little mini packet and it has waka waka excuse moi Designer the better and warm and fuzzy. These are all beautiful colors. If you see this one, pick it up. It's a really good little set. It, all the colors are beautiful. And last but not least, I picked up this Essie Disappearing Trick. Um, it's kind of like a cuticle remover. I like better the one from Sally Beauty Supply. I think it's more effective, but it's not bad. It does an okay job. Mascara wise, I picked up a bunch of mascara like I'm good for like ever. Um, I picked up this great lash, lots of lashes. I intend to do a review on this. I'm not very hopeful because I hate regular great lash. I think it's a piece of crap. Um, I picked up Prestige My Blackest Lashes because I always see Michelle 1218 talk about it. So I'm reviewing this one. I'm currently using it. And I also picked up today Lash Perfection from CoverGirl, and I actually did a video right before this one, and I did a live demo. So if you're interested, um, look for that one, because I did the review already. For lipsticks, this was a good month for Revlon and I. I found the lip butters from Revlon. I also have a review on those. I'm going to put like a link below in case you want to check those out. I picked up five of them on sale, because... Thanks to Heidi Jalapeno 2007, now I look for coupons and sales and like I'm always like on the buy one get one free with the coupon so I find everything a lot cheaper. Thank you Heidi. So I have five of these and I also picked up two super lustrous um, Revlon lipsticks and I have to say I am really impressed with super lustrous lipsticks. I had never given them the time of day but I picked up this one. It looks really scary and it's called Baba Violet number 663 and I picked this up because I saw Lisa Eldridge did like a one lipstick several color uh, several ways to wear it with uh, Tom Ford's Black Orchid so I wanted something more affordable because I'm never going to go through a almost black lipstick and this is what I found I think it's a gorgeous very vampy color it works amazingly well as a stain and these super lustrous are awesome lipsticks the one right next to it is a beautiful mauve shade and it's called 660 uh, very hot hot whatever you call it it is gorgeous this is a great um purpley shade that's kind of safe very creamy very nice so these are my lipstick purchases for the month. From Sephora, I picked up when the Lip Fusion was on sale. I picked up four of the Lip Fusion Excel for $50, and one is usually $50, bucks, so I scored big on that. Um, this is the first time that I go and buy something in MAC in a long time. I'm not going to knock MAC because most of my collection, my eyeshadows are from MAC. I love MAC. I just stopped following the collections because it just got too crazy for me, and... I have a lot of makeup already, so I just pick up things here and there when I feel like it. But I did pick up Nubile Paint Pot, and it's a peachy base. If you have Painterly, I don't think you need this, but I do love it, and I've been wearing it every day. It's more effective of covering darkness, I feel, than... It's right here. It's almost the color of my skin. Than, like, Painterly, because it's even more peachy. Um, so it does a great job, and I do like it a lot. I went into this little like local beauty supply um, looking for like contacts for Halloween and I saw that they had the black castor oil, the Jamaican black castor oil um, there. This is only seven dollars 
and I could never find this anywhere. This is supposed to promote growth, so I've been using it on my eyebrows. It smells really bad. We'll see if it works. And I also picked up these Kiss IMV Real Remy Hair um, False Lashes Medium Length. I haven't used them yet either, but I thought it was kind of cool that they were Remy hair, so we'll see. I also picked up the Palladio Brow Gel. This is a repurchase of many times. And I also picked up this Sephora Professional 57 Concealer Brush. So I saw someone, and I can't remember who, because I would say who, um, talking about this brush a while ago about um, for concealer. This is an amazing brush. It's fatter than like a 224, and it's really soft, and I like it for the days that I'm not wearing foundation when I just do concealer around my chin and around my eyes. This is precise, but not too precise. It's amazing. It's an awesome brush. I do recommend it. From Sally's Beauty Supply, I picked up uh, Ion Smooth Solutions Shampoo and Conditioner, and this is on sale right now. You buy two, you get the third bottle for free. So I paid like 11 bucks for three bottles. This is uh, sulfate-free, no sodium chloride, replenishes keratin, eliminates freeze, uh, frizz and strengthens. I have keratin in my hair, so I do have to use sulfate-free shampoos, but this is really good for frizzy hair. From Ulta, I picked up this um, <clears throat> heating spray that's called Pro Men Heat Protection Heat Protectant. And I only picked it up because it has the same kind of spout as the Tresemme, but they say that Tresemme is not that good of a heat protectant and I ran out. So I'm testing this one out. We'll see. On another one of my bargain hunting deals, I picked up Aveeno last week in CVS. There was a sale where if you bought two Aveeno lotions of any size, you got seven extra bucks back. These were originally $9.99, but they were on sale for like $5.50 or something ridiculous like that. So I paid $11 for two lotions that were $9.99 originally, and they gave me seven back. So it was a crazy deal. And this is the Aveeno Active Natural Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion with natural shea butter. It's natural, no parabens, no, no fragrance or anything like that. Really nice. Um, so scored big. also picked up um, the Cetaphil Cleanser. This is an amazing cleanser. I picked it up on sale as well a few weeks ago. And this really does make your face a lot um, softer. A few and weeks ago, um, Sephora sent out an email that they would give you um, a full-size product, like a, a cleanser, if you bought any skincare purchase. So I got for free the Thomas Peter, the Peter Thomas Roth um, Glycolic Anti-Aging Cleanser. They also have purity in a huge size, but I still have a lot of purity left. And my purchase was from the Amore Pacific line, which is a really expensive. Um, new skincare line. They said that it was exclusive to Barney's New York before, but I'm not sure because I haven't really looked it up. But I bought the moisturizing gel, um, like cream. It's oil free, and it's 1.7 ounce. And this was extremely expensive. It was 100 bucks. But I got it in a little set that brought like all these other samples. It's still really expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's still super expensive. But I brought a little cleansing foam, which I haven't tried out yet. It brought an enzyme peel mask. It brought um, a vitalizing mask and a serum, a little bottle of serum. Finally, from the friends and family sale, the first thing that I got is this Jerlique um, serum. It's a concentrate. It was only $10 for a half an ounce bottle. That was like the sale that they were running. So I got that. I also got this Lorac Liquid Luster. Um, drops. These are supposed to be, it's like a, a something that you put on top of eyeshadow to make it shimmery and give it like a change. We'll see if I like it. I'm kind of excited to try it out. For my 500 point perk, I got the Laura Mercier um, favorites. It has a mascara, eye basics in wheat, face it moisturizer, and a foundation primer. So it's a cool way because I, I hadn't tried any of these products from Laura Mercier and I do love everything from her. So we'll see how I like these. This is a good one for 500 points. Last but not least, I was on the website every day until this came back in stock. It's the NARS All About Cheeks Dan Mari palette. I am so excited to have this. The only blush that I had from here was the Orgasm blush. So I'm really excited. This has a highlighter, Hungry Heart, Casino, Orgasm, Super Orgasm, Sin and Desire. So I'm going to Vegas in a couple of weeks and this is the palette I'm gonna take. 
I am super excited. This is a gorgeous palette. And I got it for 52 bucks on sale, on the sale. So for six NARS products, you know, that's a great deal. So that's everything that I got. I got a few samples and stuff like that. I got a cool sample of anti-aging like eyeshadows from Anastasia. So I'm going to try that out too. But that's everything that I got. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you want to see any of the products that I got in action or if you want any sort of like real review and I'll do that for you. Thank you again for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe for more videos. Bye.